Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday, July 5th. Um, I forgot to make my announcements on the last video. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I am scheduling for next week. Um, I'm only accepting 10, so schedule sooner than later. I do have some slots available. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodivity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, please do. Please follow me over there. Uh, so you can watch the full-length videos. I'm just tired of not being able to get my full-length videos downloaded. It's just, it's a nightmare for, for TikTok. So um, if you wouldn't mind following me over there. We're going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself and viewer. We call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. All right, let's see. For this new moon that's coming up tomorrow on the 6th, what's a collective need to be aware of? For this new moon energy. New moon. New moon. Wow. a whole chunk but it makes sense <laughs> two of them actually so they want you to know just relax your manifestations are coming in I asked specifically about the new moon they said they've heard you they heard what it is you're requesting what you're putting out into the universe what you're manifesting they said just relax you know get grounded be patient it's coming in I also see justice justice is coming in those scales are being balanced the last reading was karmic retribution that's what's happening for this new moon justice is here i can also see you are being blessed with a brand new beginning a new opportunity a new leap of faith a new door opening up whether this is relationship whether this is career relocation whatever this new journey is for you it's this it's a brand new beginning it's starting over I do see movement with to the sea. Some of you could be traveling, like I said, relocating, or just embracing the energy of peace. This is beautiful. So let's see, guys. Please clarify, imagine, for this new moon, imagine. Please clarify, imagine. Woo! Please clarify, imagine. So while you're manifesting, I can see there is a lot of disharmony in a karmic relationship, and I don't feel like this is your energy. You are not focused on this, but this is definitely attached to your energy. Um, someone here that chose a karmic partner is very unhappy. There is no peace. There is no harmony. You have learned to love yourself and follow God, and that's why your manifestations are coming in. All right, please clarify. Breathe. Please clarify, breathe. Yeah, you know, they want you to know multiple doors are opening. Things are going to happen pretty quickly for you. It's, it is attached to your manifestation because you've leveled up to this Queen of Wands energy. You're a true leader. You're confident. You're inspiring. You have a true desire to help others. And you're a healer with a star. I also see a wish is being granted for you. All right, to be fair for this new moon energy, to be fair. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so justice. Someone that tried to win at all costs, someone that could have lied, slandered you, played a lot of mind games, they're being defeated. They are being defeated because they came against someone that was in this hermit energy, someone that's very connected with God, that's very wise, that stayed private. The blockage here is the devil. The devil tempted someone to take foolish action, which is resulting in their heartbreak, which is justice, because they came against somebody that's a healer, that does, has done their healing work, 
someone that is highly intuitive, very connected with God. So that's justice playing out right there. That's what that is. Please clarify. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. Wow. While you're taking a brand new leap of faith, what's happening quickly is there is a tower with a third party. Uh, this is someone from your past. They could have Leo placements. They don't have to, but they're trying to have strength. You're moving on. This is not your area of focus, but this is a part of the justice that's coming in. You are being given um, a new beginning while someone here is reaping what they have sown. There is a tower coming in for this person and a third party. Give me one more, please, on the full for the new moon. Yeah, this is somebody that made a bad investment. They were lying, cheating, and stealing. And now they are reaping what they have sown. All right, please clarify to the sea for this new moon. To the sea. The full to the sea. Woo! Wow, yeah, you're taking a brand new leap of faith. This is a new beginning that brings in a lot of peace for you. And then we can see this couple... This is a narcissistic couple, if I ever saw one. The Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords on the fence. And the Four of Wands in reverse. This couple is, everything is falling apart in this relationship. They are toxic. They're toxic with one another and they're toxic to other people. To the sea. Yeah, you will have victory, success, public recognition. You will be the victor in this situation. You know, if somebody thought they were going to go to someone else, what they're finding out is the person they chose is just as narcissistic and vile as they are. And they're not liking it too much. You're being moved on, not only to victory, but being recognized for who you are. This is the spiritual realm doing this, okay? You've been through a lot at the hands of a narcissistic energy who connected with another narcissist. And then as a couple, they both put you through a lot. But you know what? You stayed in your divine femme, divine masculine energy. You stayed rooted and grounded in your faith and in God. You didn't seek vengeance. You let God take care of it. And God is definitely taking care of it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let me just get... Let's do from this deck. Please clarify. Imagine. Well, come on now. I didn't get to shuffle. Please clarify. Imagine. Please clarify, imagine. Yeah, somebody that has no connection, no faith in God is spying on you, watching your life unfold beautifully. All of your hard work paying off. Your manifestations come into fruition. Please clarify, breathe. Yeah, in reverse. You are having multiple doors open up for you. Things are picking up quickly. You're a true leader. Good news is coming. And we can see someone that was not accountable, that did not do the right thing, that went down the wrong path. Everything is falling apart in their life. This is someone that's still holding on to your energy and everything is falling apart. Two of Pentacles, they are juggling, whether it's finances, emotions, physically, spiritually, emotionally, doesn't matter. Everything is, is topsy-turvy in this person's life. Please clarify justice. Please clarify justice. Yeah, see this person that was a narcissist, king of swords in reverse, that wanted to play all these mind games, that wanted to win at all costs, playing the victim, wanting people to feel sorry for them, they will have no blessings. They will have no passionate beginning. They also do have uh, distorted sexual energy. Please clarify the ace of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're just saying, you are moving on you are this grounded stable energy you are the queen of swords in the upright you have cut this person out you're done done it's over you are you're focused on the new you see how the queen of pentacles is looking at the full she's focused on the new she's got her back to the past she's not focused on anything from the past you see this person as a karmic that's under judgment that's how you see this person all right please clarify the full 
Please clarify the full. Yeah, the end of deception, the end of illusions. You're done. You've closed the cycle out. You're ready to take flight, ready to take this brand new leap of faith. Please clarify to the sea. To the sea. Wow, didn't this just come out the same way? Um, or close, but you have multiple options, multiple doors opening up. You are this hermit energy. You're very uh, divinely guided, very connected, very private. To the sea. To the sea. Yeah, we can see somebody. It's over for somebody. Uh, they could have been money hungry. Um, they're in a nightmare tied to the devil. This is someone that made a deal with the devil and it didn't work out. And it never does. So you are just moving on. You're making plans for the future. You're not interested in this mess. You just would, I mean, honestly, you'd rather be alone than be connected with somebody like this. This person's put you through too much. And you're well aware of every dirty detail. Every dirty detail. This person cannot come in and lie to you because you know the truth about everything. For many of you, you have proof. You have receipts that you may not be sharing, but you have the receipts. All right, let's see, guys. Let's pull from another deck. All right, let's... Let's do the angels and ancestors for the collective. What do they need to be aware of for this new moon? For the new moon. You're a seer. You may notice after this new moon that your gifts increase, your intuition, um, whatever knowledge you're being given, you may notice that it's it's increasing. Um, you're taking charge with authority. This is more confidence, you know, just pushing forward, really trusting your intuition. Yeah, look, honoring your inner knowing as I say that. Yeah, trusting your intuition. You're releasing the old and you're resting. You're preparing for the new. You're just releasing everything from the past. They're saying, track down your fears and desires and stand your ground. I do feel like you're very perseverant in your energy, and they want you to know you're going to enjoy growth and reap rewards. Let's get one last card here. We got Spirit Fox. Trust in your talents and changing times. The bottom of the deck is a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You are a warrior. You've been through so much. How could you not be a warrior, right? What was meant to break you built you. It did. It truly did. Look at this. I split the deck. Feel and re release and time to move on. Look at that. <sighs> Feel and release and then time to move on. You deserve bigger and better. Stay the course. You're moving in the right direction. If you wondered, yes, you are. Card number four, you're protected in doing this. Stability is being restored. You are healing your heart. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. Wow. Card number 33, which reduces to a six. Peace and harmony will be restored in your life no matter where you are on your healing journey. Peace and harmony will be restored. Ooh, it's getting so dark and gloomy. It's getting ready to rain. Uh, breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Um, we got that card in the wisdom of the in the wisdom of the oracle. They said just relax, just surrender. You know, if you have trust and faith in God, why do you worry about anything? They said feel and release, release all you've accumulated on this journey. Ask Jesus to come into your heart and to help you to release. Ask Him, and He will. He's there. You are unlimited. What you can create is unlimited. And it is safe for you to let go. You are surrounded by love. The spiritual realm, your ancestors, your guides, you know, everyone is there for you in the spiritual realm. 
cheering you on and helping you, okay? Let's do the Cancerian Oracle deck. We have a timing of a few weeks. Somebody could be returning from the past. The spiritual realm is advising you to say no. Because you have a new opportunity that's headed your way. This is an opportunity that's destined for you. Uh, it could include travel, but it leads to abundance, financial security, and stability. That's beautiful. They want you to take action. They don't want you to worry. Rest while you can, because soon you're going to be busy. That's what I just heard. Rest while you can. Um, let go. They said not every puzzle is yours to, to solve. Let go of all the details. Just surrender that to God. But take action that you're inspired to take, okay? It didn't come out. Step out of your comfort zone. For some of you that are manifesting a new home, I see that. And the bottom of the deck says a career change. Wow, that's amazing. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple from this cosmic... Or is it Starry Beginnings? This might be the Starry Beginnings deck. We got Golden Crown. Card number 15, the change that's occurring. Five, the change that's occurring is more spiritual gifts. That's amazing. And then we got Cosmic Connection. Card number 11, this can be you coming into union with your higher self and with God, but also calling in a divine union. And then we got Celestial Teacher. Card number seven. This is your destined path to teach and guide other people in some way. And then we got Time Out. So you could be in a time out now, preparing for the change, 32, that is occurring. Things are going to start picking up quickly, though. Yeah, you're building your spiritual strength. And then we said, Walk Your Truth. They're preparing you to be in your highest vibration. Be your true, authentic self. And stepping into your purpose emotions you know you may have things coming to the surface that's causing you to be emotional it is purging from your spirit feel it cry and release okay because you're meant to shine you're meant to shine be still have time a moments of alone with god that you can hear the messages that he is bringing to you the guidance he's giving to you okay now, I'm going to do the Divine Masters, and I will end it here. Let's just get a couple from this deck. Truth and only truth for the collective. For this new moon energy, what do they need to be aware of for this new moon? What do they need to be aware of? This, the, I'm telling you, we get the same cards. Melchizedek, divine knowledge, higher learning. Commit to your vision through study. This is learning all that you can about uh, spiritualism and connection and your gifts. We got Paul the Venetian, gifted one, revealing hidden talents, opportunities to shine. An increase in your spiritual gifts are being revealed. That's really what I feel. And it keeps coming out. So we got uh, Ma'at, Ma divine intervention. Weigh up your options and choose the highest good releasing what doesn't serve you and changing your course changing your path to what is aligned for you then we got buddha it says heightened awareness make peace with your thoughts and your world i definitely do get um more spiritual gift heightened awareness is like you know an expanded consciousness uh, intuition your intuitive ability is really increasing and then we got Serapis Bay, Paradigm Shift, Activation, to grow, make the necessary changes. Pay attention to what they're saying, what they want you to release, okay? Or any inspired action they want you to take. We got Expanded Heart, Lady Nada. Open, openness, liberation, and let yourself love and be loved. You are free. You're free to love yourself, to love others, and allow others to love you, okay? That's beautiful. All right, guys, this is your second reading. I love you guys. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye.